Council, the most important church council ever held was the Apostolic Council of Jerusalem in 49 AD. Uh, here they had to decide, could Gentiles come into the church directly or did they have to stop at a Jewish halfway house first? And the thrilling decision accounts for the fact that Christianity became the greatest phenomenon, even statistically considered, in the history of this planet. There's no other religious system. There's no other political system uh, or whatever group that has the loyalties of over 2 billion, 300 million in the present generation alone. We're number one. And Judaism, one would think, would be number two. It is not. It's number 19. And how is this possible? Well, if the Apostolic Council of Jerusalem made the faith universal, anybody could come into it. And this was a tremendous difference. Tremendous difference. And it accounts for the fact that to the present day, there are 125 Christians for every Jew in the world. That seems impossible, doesn't it? But that is the difference. It was James, the just of Jerusalem, the half-brother of Jesus, who announced the results of the debate at the Apostolic Council in Jerusalem. And Paul and Barnabas were right. Uh, the gospel was free and open also to the Gentiles. They did not have to go through the rigors and the legalism of Judaism. They could come directly into the faith. And that was a victory for the freedom of the gospel. And they sent out messengers from Jerusalem then with that message. The Judaizers, by the way, didn't know when they were beaten. And they kept agitating even after the Apostolic Council of Jerusalem. And Paul has to write the letter to the Galatians. That's the area in which these four first missionary cities came in. Uh, 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 pointing out that how can these people dare try to uproot the faith that, uh, that we've planted with God's help? And that's why he begins Galatians with such an angry tone. Uh, and they, and as a matter of fact, as late as Paul's last visit to Jerusalem, they're going to get him into trouble because Ephesian Judaizers identified him. And indeed, the riot broke out in the temple courtyard, you recall. And from that point on, Paul is under Roman law and control until he goes to Rome. So they were his life, at least career-long, opponents.